Znana w środowisku polonijnym śpiewaczka Małgorzata May od kilku lat organizuje akcje charytatywne na rzecz prowadzonych na Uniwersytecie Torontońskim badań nad epilepsją. Zanim przedstawimy Państwu relacje z koncertu, z którego dochód również został przeznaczony na wspomniany cel, obejrzyjmy krótki film przekazujący kilka informacji na temat choroby, wobec której medycyna jest wciąż bezradna oraz jednej z możliwych terapii, tak zwanej diety ketogennej, której zastosowanie przy leczeniu epilepsji przynosi obiecujące wyniki. 300,000 people in Canada have epilepsy. 50 million in the world. I am going to speak to you today about epilepsy. Epilepsy is not a disease. You can't catch epilepsy from anyone else. There are many different kinds of seizures depending on which part of the brain the seizure is coming from. Some people fall down and shake, some people just stare, some people roll their eyes. Many of them keep the condition secret, ashamed, fearing rejection. Stigma. I rolled my eyes and sometimes I would fall down. I would get right back up. But I didn't know what had happened to me or why. When I had a seizure, I would miss what had just happened. The seizure would last for a second, but some days I would have two or three hundred seizures. Epilepsy is a common chronic neurological disorder. Comprehension. Her grade one teacher, she was wonderful when they knew Sander had. She wasn't on any diet though in grade one. She was taking medication. Um, she brought in someone from epilepsy and taught all the children, showed them what it was. And she did, she was wonderful. She researched it herself as well. Mm -hmm. And then when we, we told her we were going to the hospital in the summer and um, we had so much, you know, like they were all cheering for her. She did have a full-time educational assistant always with her. People with epilepsy have to take medications. I took many different medications, but none of them helped me. After about six years, we discovered the ketogenic diet. We did a lot of reading about it, just where it stemmed from, because it was a diet that was used before medications were invented for epilepsy. Um, uh, we learned so much about it. We saw a movie, but the diet was um, a fat diet. It changed the chemistry of the brain to use fat instead of sugar for energy. It was very much a starvation diet, more because the par portions of food are very, very small for what a child needs, but the fat that they got in their body kept them full, um, that they weren't hungry, the food was enough for them, and for us, it worked. Strawberries. She was doing wonderful. We, uh, there were no seizures, none. Like it was a miracle for us. My name is Sandra and I'm 13 years old. My seizures are gone now. Happiness. We need to help to establish more ketogenic diet centers in Canada. Martin is 17. When he was six, he had 40 seizures per day. He lost his sight four years ago and since has lost the ability to speak. One third of the patients do not respond to medical treatment. Every case of epilepsy is different. For some people, seizures fade away. For some, they are uncontrollable and increase in some cases up to hundreds per day. The causes of this are unknown. I would like scientists to find answers for these questions. Helplessness. Odbywający się pod patronatem Konsulatu Generalnego Polski doroczny koncert, tym razem pod tytułem Body and Soul Tango Passion, miał miejsce pod koniec października w Jane Male Theatre w Toronto. Podczas imprezy wyrazy wdzięczności Małgorzacie May za jej szlachetną działalność złożyły m.in. posłanka ontaryjska Szerginowo i była posłanka federalna Peggy Nash. Wyrazy podziękowania za jej działalność charytatywną również w ramach organizacji Ontario Epilepsy Małgorzata May otrzymała od wielu prominentnych polityków, m.in. od premiera Stevena Harpera, lidera partii liberalnej Michaela Ignatiewa, 
lidera partii Nowych Demokratów Jacka Laytona czy premiera Ontario Daltona McGuinty. Przed rozpoczęciem koncertu pani Małgorzata poprosiła na scenę rodzinę państwa Moore z Peterborough, którzy wzięli udział w nadanym przed chwilą filmie. Pani May podziękowała im za podjęcie decyzji wystąpienia w dokumencie, dzięki czemu informacje na temat wykazującej tak korzystny wpływ przy leczeniu epilepsji diety kenogennej mogą dotrzeć do wielu dotkniętych tą chorobą. And especially for Sandra, for letting us with the camera crew into your house, into your home and sharing this story with us and becoming an epilepsy ambassador. Thank you so much. I have a plaque uh, for you from tonight's concert with all the signatures of all artists. I know Sandra was very excited and she was asking, can I see them all? Can I talk to them? Yes, you can. And this is the plaque for that. And, and she, uh, got the certificate for future shop for your education. And I really thank you so much for coming and I wish you stay healthy, drive safe home because you probably can't stay. She just came to say hi to you. So thank you so much. Pod koniec koncertu Małgorzata May poprosiła na scenę dyrektora badań nad epilepsją na Uniwersytecie Torontońskim, profesora Maka Bunhama, by poinformować go o przekazaniu 10 tysięcy dolarów na prowadzone przez niego badania. Dziękując za kolejną dotację na ten cel, profesor Burnham powiedział. On, uh, on behalf of all of us in epilepsy research at the university, I'd like to thank Margaret and the other artists for a tremendous program tonight. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. Um, we generally say about one in a hundred people has epilepsy, and about one in three hundred has uncontrolled epilepsy. And you'd think that such a serious and common disorder would get a lot of attention and a lot of research support, and we don't. Or at least we haven't, but now we have a champion who's determined to see that we get the attention and the support that we need. I'd like a very heartfelt round of applause for Miss Margaret May. A oto fragmenty kilku utworów wykonanych przez artystów biorących udział w koncercie. Słynnego zespołu muzycznego Quartango, mistrzowskiej pary tanecznej, nie mającej sobie równych w prezentacji tanga argentyńskiego Roxany i Fabiana Belmonte oraz Małgorzaty Neyu. 